Hey guys, it's Landon from RH. In this short video, I'm going to show you how I think you should set up your line type scale in your drawing so that it plots properly. Uh, we've got, I don't know, two or three different ways we're doing this right now at my shop, which is not good. So I got together with two of my survey techs last week, Elena and Nikki. Shout out to them. They helped me figure this out. I'm pretty sure I've figured this out two or three times over the last five years and I keep forgetting how to do it. So I'm going to record a video and upload it to YouTube so the next time I'm trying to figure this out I can just watch my own video because <laughs> it I do beat my head on this every couple of years. So what, what we want guys, what we're trying to accomplish is we want to have the line types in our sheet drawing match the line types in the in the we want the line types in the model space viewport of our sheet drawing to match the line types in our legend and paper space. Um, and, and you may not need to worry about that depending on how your shop sets up their stuff, but in my shop, the line types, the legend and the lines for the legend are in paper space and all of our line work that gets displayed in the sheet is actually in model space, in, in a model space viewport. So the other thing that's a little bit different about my shop is our line work is an XREF. It's in a separate line work drawing. In, in most people's uh, organizations, the, the line work will actually be in model space. But if you click this, you can see in my shop, it's, a, it's an XREF. All right, so if for some reason you open a sheet drawing at my shop and the line work in the drawing in, in the model space viewport doesn't match the line type size in the legend, how do you fix that? So I'm going to walk you through that process. Here's the first thing I want you to do. Open your line work drawing and just make sure that all your line work um, is set to, we're, we're going to set it to 0.5. So we're going to, we're going to um, override our line work here to 0.5. And the reason we do that on our line type scale is because um, the built-in AutoCAD line types are a little bigger than we like uh, at my shop. So by default, we, we scale those down by half. Okay, the other thing you want to do, just check and make sure we should have our LTS scale set to one in all our line work drawings. Okay, then we can save that and close it. Okay, so the next thing you want to check, there's a couple environment variables that you want to check in your sheet drawing. So the first thing we want to do is we just want to check the line type scale in the sheet drawing. Now in our sheet drawing, we set the line type scale, which is global. We set it to, again, we set it to 0.5 because we want to downscale the default AutoCAD line types by, by half. Okay, but you do not set your line type scale to the, to the plot scale. To like a 60 scale if this is this sheet is 1 to 60 you don't set your line type scale to 60 that's how some of my folks are doing it that's not what we want keep your line type scale at, at half or if you're in another shop probably at one okay and then there's an environment and another environment variable that you need to look at and it's called it's the paper space line type scale variable and it's just an on off switch so it's a zero or one so let's uh, pull that up so ps lt scale and you want to make sure it's always set on, so one to on. Okay, and what that does is, as you change your viewport scale, AutoCAD will automatically scale your line weights so that they appear right at the scale of the viewport. Now, the, the reason that's cool, besides that you don't have to really think about it, is if you have two viewports on one sheet at different scales, your line types are going to look the same in each viewport, which is what you want most, almost always. Okay, so we want to keep that environment variable on. If you turn that environment variable off, AutoCAD is not going to scale your line types based on the viewport scale. Okay, so let's look at, um, we have that on, let's look at one other thing. So the next thing you need to look at after that environment variable is you want to come in here to your line types in paper space in the legend and you want to just select those. Okay, and we want the line type scale on those to be set to 0 0.5. So we're doing that with an override. Okay, because as soon as we do that, the line types in all of our viewports will now match what's in the legend. So as long as we have the line type scale variable, environment variable set to 0.5, we have the paper space line type scale environment variable switch set to one or on, 
and we override these lines, property override, to have a line type scale of 0.5, everything's going to work. It's going to look like it should. Now, let me just show you an example of that. So, we have another sheet for this job that is set up at a 30 scale. So, let's open that sheet. I'm going a little bit off script here, but let's open that sheet. So I'm going to open one of those sheets that's at 30 scale. So this is at 30 scale. <clears throat> now, if we do the same thing, we set our line type scale to 0 0.5. And we set our PSLT scale variable to one. Okay, then we can come in here and override these. Make sure they're okay, so they're already set to 0.5. Now, if we do all that the same, it doesn't matter that this is at a different scale. So this is at 30, 30 scale, not 60 scale. But everything lines up between the viewport and the legend. That's kind of the beauty of that paper space line type scale environment variable. Okay, so that's how we want to do it. Now let me just show you real quick if you if you take that variable off and you try and use a different scale what can happen. So we're going to say PSLT scale and we're going to set it zero for off. And now I'm going to change my viewport size, my viewport scale, sorry. So I'm going to say zoom 1 over 100. Let's just go to whoa. Sorry guys. I got that viewport locked. I didn't realize. I don't have it locked because I never lock my viewports and I get in trouble for that. So let's try that again. So I'm going to set this to 1 inch equals 100. Okay, and then I'll go back to paper space. Now you'll notice when I do that, because that environment variable is off, my line types did not, they did not update. Okay, so they're, that the line types aren't being scaled by the viewport. Now watch what happens when I turn that back on. PSLT scale 1 for on region. So you can see as soon as I set that again, it's automatically scaling the line type in the viewport based on the viewport scale to match the, the legend the way we have it set up. And that's what we want. Okay, let me just undo these changes. We'll get it back to the way it looked before. All right, so that's how we want to set it up. Just to review, set your line at my shop. You go into your sheet drawing. You set your line type scale to 0 0.5. Okay, most other shops you'll set it to one. Then you want to make sure that your PSLTS environment variable is set to one. And then you want to make sure you select the lines in your line type legend and do the property override to make sure the line type scale is 0 0.5. Then if you do all that, AutoCAD will properly scale the line types in each viewport, even if they're at different scales, so that they match the legend.